Have you ever heard the tale of King Eumenes of Pergamon? Well, allow me to fill you in with this very accomplished man. This is going to be a story of succession, wars, strategies, and gods. And who better to tell this story than the man himself from before he was actually king? You could already say my life is more successful than most. I'm only 18 years old, but I'm already in command of the Pokemonian Royal Guard. You might ask yourself, how did I get this rank? And to be honest, it is more about luck and heritage than anything else. King Philetyros, my distant uncle, had no children of his own. And with my father dead, who I never knew, as well as no other male to succeed him, he began grooming me as his heir. That is at least what my theory is all about. So far I haven't done anything actually. But now I have the perfect advantage to prove my skills to the world. And I had just the plan. The Bithynians to the north had been at war with the Seleucids for as long as I can remember. My uncle always told me the Seleucids were bad people, someone to fear. But I never did. Their guards had frequently visited the royal palace asking for the true heir of the empire. And my uncle, the king of course, always looked in distress whenever this happened. And yes, it happened more than once. You know what? I don't know why I'm telling you this. As everyone knows, they are talking about Alexander the Great and the rumors about him secretly having a son who never was found. But this was of course a long time ago, from when my father was born to be exact. But he is of course dead, so he can't tell me anything about it. This is why I wanna go to my comedia. I believe they have the answers to everything. After all, why would the so mighty Seleucids be at war with this minor faction, if not they do something about the whereabouts of Alexander's true heir? If I find the right answers, all of the Hellenic world could be united once again. But fearing the Bithynians might believe I am a Seleucid traveler, I brought the royal army as protection. And of course, they did believe so. They couldn't see past our different banners, but believed due to our similar armor, we were one and the same. Of course, their resistance was futile as we captured the town, sparing as many as possible, like my uncle would have done if he was in command. I questioned the now captured king of Bithynia and explained everything. How we were from Pergamon and seeking the answers about the heir of Alexander. He sadly refused to comply with any of my questions, so I left him in the hands of my Polymer, which was a bit more effective, let's just say that. But the answer he gave me, I'm not sure how to feel about this. Sinope. Sinope of all places was where we needed to go. Of all towns in the known world, it had to be where I was born. With all haste, I returned home by ship. I wanted to tell my uncle about the findings and also make sure my people were safe. After all, the Rhodians have been rivals of Pergamon for a long time, with a war undoubtedly on its way. He said something about, don't worry about us humanists, blah blah blah, I should return home at last, blah blah blah, and there was something I needed to know before I left. And guess what? The bell started to ring, signaling a Rhodian army was on its way. This meant my uncle had to rush out while I needed to leave the city before it was under siege. So I didn't get to hear anything. How typical. And I don't feel good about leaving the city behind. Most of our fighters will leave alongside me after all, meaning Pokemon will practically be empty. Still. 
My curiosity got the better of me. I and my men traveled northeast to Sinop. But once again, we found nothing but hostiles. Positioned outside of the town with both armies ready for a fight, I shouted to the leader of the garrison. There doesn't need to be a fight. I'm just seeking answers. He responded though. We know who you are, Eumenes, son of Philip. There is no place for you here. In my confusion, I knew only one thing could happen next. It is time for battle. So, as far as I remember from my tutoring, the most effective tactic is the oblique order. So that is the one, of course, I am gonna form up in today. But a head-on assault on the town would be suicide, so I led the cavalry forward to draw the enemy out. Unable to deal with the Pokemonian Royal Guard, the remaining garrison surrendered. It is now time for me to enter and visit my former home. My first proper battle and the losses were minimal. I mean, this was not exactly my first battle, but the siege of Nicomedia was more like a forced surrender, so I won't count it as a battle. But this one here was actually with a garrison trying to hold us off. And we did it superbly. This was exactly the confidence boost I needed. And oh boy, I'm about to need it now. Because in all the wrong ways, everything seemed to click. As I stood in the town square, four messengers arrived at the same time. Something bad must have happened. After all, why would they come to me and not my uncle? The first messenger told me about a map showing the location of the remaining Sinopian armies. They had traveled inland into Galatia where they were trying to take Ankara. This one of course I do understand, obviously this was my war so it made sense for them to give me all the intel. But the same could not be said for the rest. The king of Arch Bosporus wished for an audience with the king of Pergamon asking for a defensive alliance to keep the Black Sea safe and secure and also that I would need someone to rely on for the struggles ahead. And then even weirder than that, the third was a message from Pontus with the king Mithridates challenging me for combat and the claim to the Macedonian Empire. My understanding of their words must have vanished, me in need of allies and claim to the Macedonian throne. In disbelief, I asked, what is it you are not telling me? It seems like all of you know something that I don't. They all looked confused at each other and then back at me. The fourth messenger stepped forward saying, I carry the answers you seek. In my hand, I hold the will of the now former king, Militairos, 
which states that Eumenes, son of Philip, son of Alexander the Great, shall receive all titles and ranks to the kingdom of Pergamon. He kept talking but I didn't listen anymore. Then everything got dead quiet. A massive flash appeared before me and I fell to the ground. That is it for the first episode. This is gonna act like the prologue to the campaign. And we are gonna follow Eumenes, meaning the only battles I'm gonna show you in the videos are the ones he is taking part in. The overall goal of this campaign here is to reunite the Macedonian Empire once again. But this can be stopped if Eumenes dies. And just to make sure he doesn't die of old age, we are playing with the 12 turns per year mod. But with that said, the campaign will continue every Friday, where we in the future are gonna need the Senate or advisors as Eumenes may call them, to make important decisions to keep him alive. This is of course gonna take place on our Discord server, so jump over there if you wanna be part of it. But with that said, goodbye and spread happiness.